the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing great. It's like December 30th. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I know that much. And yet, don't don't worry about none of that stuff. Just forget it. Don't even, don't even pay attention to it. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Jason Levine. Thank you, bro. That helped a lot. I don't know what that water bill going to be, but it's probably going to be pretty hefty. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, today we're going to get right into it because I was scrolling the old face page this morning, drinking my coffee, and lo and behold, people don't know what rebase music is. Cheater sticks, they were calling it. Yeah, what? I, I don't know. You can't get loud if you had to play rebase music. Them are cheater sticks. They're, they're, they're cheater sticks. But anyway, guys, uh, guys, some of the comments I read on there, like, uh, you know, there was one comment about, I guess you don't need rebase music if you have a epicenter. I, I am not a fan of epicenters. Even uh, my buddy Chad Smith, he had an epicenter and it was killing his lows. Uh, I'm talking, you know, like 20 hertz and under. It was just like destroying it because they kind of really boost signal. I think in the like 40, 50 hertz range, don't quote me because I'm not 100%. I've never used one. I mean, I know what they are, you know, uh, back in the day, like way back in the day in car radio, they came out to like, help enhance bass frequencies that rock music didn't have you gotta remember rock music's like mostly kick drum and stuff so you're talking uh you're talking like that 50 hertz range but anyway yeah a lot of guys don't know what rebase music is and i think it's terrible when people just want to talk about something they have no clue about well, it's me part of the time, but anyway, the whole rebase music thing, it's not a cheater stick. It's what it boils down to is some of us like playing low. And what the guy that made the whole cheater stick and you can't get loud if you had to play rebase music, what he don't understand is he probably don't have a loud system at all. Like I could probably put, you know, some 15 hertz and his shit and we're gonna bottom subs uh ben formers you know <laughs> there's a lot of things gonna happen that his subs ain't gonna like and the the point of it is if you want a hair trick and you want to play lows you pretty much need to play rebase now don't get me wrong there are some songs out there that are just recorded pretty low anyway, because when I was doing a lot of the TikTok request, uh, there was some, I'll, one of them in particular that really I was impressed with is uh, Spot 'em Got 'em, Beatbox 2. I played that song straight from Apple Music and it had my hood flap and ripped it off. And I was thoroughly impressed because it was actually recorded pretty low. But as a whole, do we need rebase music in the car audio industry? That would be the question of the day. I say yes. A lot of us really like to play low. And we like certain songs. And there's nothing more than having a song that you really genuinely like. You know how it is when you find a new song? You be wanting to play it and then maybe hit repeat on it, you know? Well, it's, it's so much better when you have a big system and you find a song like that and it's rebased <laughs> because then you can demo to it, you know, it, it, it is what it is, but I definitely think, yes, the car audio industry needs rebased. It needs people like DJ Rusticles, DJ Siren, Nick Fleming, Slick Flick. He makes some really good, uh, tunes, you know? There's a new guy that I've been talking to. He does Redbeard Rebase. Uh, I think his name's Brandon. Man, I, I know so I many. I forget a lot of people. But uh, I think his name's Brandon. I ain't even going to try to pronounce his last name. Because I, I, I'd i kill it. But he's going to be a good rebaser up and coming. Like He sent me a couple tracks and they just needed a fine bit of tweak. 
And it wasn't even the rebase part. Uh, he nailed that. So there's a lot of good rebasers out there, and the car audio industry needs people, you know, doing it. If you want to give good demos and play low. It's just, you know, if you're a Mariah Carey fan, don't expect to just pull up and see, you know, it's like, okay, I'm going to put Mariah Carey up in here and hair trick today. That's not going to happen. <laughs> so, with that being said, yes, we do need it. And please, guys, learn what rebase is. It ain't bass boosted. Bass boosted music is garbage for the most part. Uh, in most situations, when it comes to rebase music, the tracks are a lot cleaner than what they are. If you down, you know, if you get it from Apple Music, you're dealing with a lot cleaner music because a lot of rebasers care and they go in, they clean the tracks up, and the bass lines are going to be a lot cleaner, less clip signal and stuff like that. If it's a good rebaser, you know, and a lot of it really helps. But yeah, if you want to do hair tricks and, and play lows, you need rebase music. It's not cheating. I'm sure the majority of you guys out here already that follow my page know what the hell rebase music is, but it just blew my mind. And bass heads on a budget, what started off, somebody shared a picture. They bought the, I guess it's like the big anniversary pack or whatever, of DJ Rusticles, I think it was when he hit folder 100 or pack 100. He did like the, the case and everything and the kid bought him and then everybody's going to try to bash him for it. And just like normal fashion in these groups, the people that were knowledgeable, a couple rebasers actually jumped in trying to explain it. And, and a couple people in there just, they wasn't hearing it because they know better than everybody else when they have no clue. You know, if you don't know the purpose of rebase music, you really got that you got issue. And I'm trying to explain the the purpose of it to you now, you know, the people that don't know. It's cleaner. It's lower frequency. It ain't like they're taking that 50 hertz that's what you're used to listening to in typical rap songs. It's not like they're taking that and boosting it from say negative 5 dB to plus 3 dB. They're not doing that. A lot of times the bass line is actually a little lower in rebase music because they'll have a, a really high, it, it'll be uh, kind of high in the original recording, say. Like maybe it's up here, but it's at 55 hertz. Well, they'll actually drop it down here so it's better, but this would be 15 hertz or 20 hertz, you know. That's what they're doing. And then there was the kid that bought the this, this sticks. He actually made a complaint like, there's three versions of each song. Well, bro, that's because you might play different than we do. You know, DJ Rustico, Siren, Slick Flick. A lot of these guys release three versions of each song. Because you might have your, your average bass head or the guy that's new getting into it with that prefab box. He might need to play up here, you know, around that 40 hertz range. It might be where he's tuned at. Then you, you got the, the guy that's uh, got a pretty decent system. And, you know, he might play 25 to 35. So there's a version here, a version here for him. Then you got the guys that like life low, you know. So this might be a 15 hertz version. That's how it works. That's why there's three versions of each song. And what I've learned from just talking to, to rebasers is, I'm like, hey, can you do this song for me in 19? I'm like, absolutely not. You got to get it in 22 or 17 because it needs to be in the same key. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> All I know is that's what they tell me. It's got to be in the same key. So it needs to be here to sound right. I didn't even know there were different frequencies in keys. I thought the key was the frequency. Apparently not. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much what I, I just wanted to discuss that. I saw that this morning, thought it would be really cool. Because I thought it was sad, really, that, you know, people don't know what rebase music is. Uh, it's not uncommon to have systems these days up around 
30,000 watts on subwoofers. And my recommendation, if you have that much power, you should be playing rebase music. Uh, you know, rebase, help, one, it helps get you to where you're tuned at. It's music made for low tuning or where you're tuned at. But in my, in Jangalang, I have noticed uh, a lot of songs. I did a lot of, a lot of songs off Apple Music when I was doing the TikTok thing and taking requests. And there is a huge difference in sound quality of DJ Siren, DJ Rusticles, Slick Flick, Got 160s. A lot of these rebasers, great sound quality versus the regular music from Apple Music. The sound quality was like lacking on the OEM tracks. And yes, I would I would turn the song up and test my mids. I would listen to my mids because I couldn't go like nowhere near my normal demo volume, even on my mids and highs. But I'd find a place there I was comfortable with and I would just gently roll into the bass knob to test, you know, I wanted to hear what this is going to do before I go ham on it. And a lot of times, if you, you'll know your rebasers, guys, there's a lot of rebasers out there that I didn't name that are phenomenal rebasers. Uh, but like basically bass him, he does really good stuff. Uh, F DJ something with an F, uh, DJ F bass or something. But anyway, I pretty ha I have a good feeling, you know, when I put a rebase or I listen to a lot of their tracks. I have a good feeling when I put that song in there of how it's going to do. I know that I'm going to be able to turn my volume on my head unit up to my normal demo volume or a click down, you know. I ain't worried about that. I'll rate roll the bass knob in and, and usually go all the way up with it because I trust the track because I know the rebaser. You can't do that a lot of times with like regular recorded music. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody. I hope one of them guys that was in the group this morning that, you know, had no clue or was wanting to learn about the rebase music finds this video because gosh, some of these guys just had no clue what they're talking about. Now there are subjects I had no clue what I'm talking about for the most part. I just try to tell you guys what I know. But anyway, I hope y'all have a great new year's, uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. I hope the new year is better for all of us than 2022 was. Yeah, I don't have high hopes. Uh, maybe 2023 will be, I mean, I'm sure, I'm almost certain EXO is going to be done 2023. Uh, Doug, Salman, uh, let's shoot for 2027, dog. 2027, the van is going to be done. Uh, God, I wish he would do more content other than building dash mods. God. I loved his videos. But anyway, guys, I hope 2023 is better for all y'all. If you're going to be out partying tomorrow night, man, please take a cab or an Uber. The last thing you need is a DWI or whatever and for people to get hurt in a wreck. Most of us can't drive drunk. I won't even, dri I won't even try it because I can't walk drunk. If I can't walk drunk, I ain't going to be driving drunk. But everybody needs, you know, ain't nothing wrong going out and partying. Just be reliable about it and do the right thing. Uber, <laughs> Uber, call a friend, call a cab, uh, sleep in the bar. Them pool tables make a great bed. Anyway, guys, peace out. And as always, base on.